suddenly tatyaje he abandoned asman az bhavadrik like you paricharate serves katam why tat his pada padmam lotus feet <coughs> nu i wonder <coughs> padma lakshmi the goddess of fortune he api indeed because bata alas ritha taken away chetaha her mind he certainly uttama shloka of krishna jalpai by the false speech translation and purport by the disciples of his divine grace ac bhakti vedant swami shila prabhupad <coughs> translation after making us drink the enchanting nectar of his lips only once krishna suddenly abandoned us just as you might quickly abandon some flowers how is it then that goddess padma willingly serves his lotus feet alas the answer must certainly be that our mind has been stolen away by his deceitful words purport in this verse shrimati radharani continues to compare shri krishna to the bumble bee and in her distress she states that the reason the goddess of fortune is constantly devoted to his lotus feet must be that she has been fooled by krishna's promises according to shila vishwanath chakravarti this statement of shrimati radharani's illustrates parijalpa as described in the shri ujjwala nilamani 14.184 प्रभोर निदयथा साध्य चापल्याधि उपपादनात् स्वा विचक्षणात् अह व्यक्तिर् भंग्या स्यात् परिजल्पितम् परिजल्प इज दैट स्पीच व्हिच थ्रू वेरियस डिवाइसेस शोस वन्स ओन क्लेवरनेस बाय एक्सपोजिंग द मर्सीलेसनेस ड्यूपलिसिटी अनरिलायबिलिटी एंड सो ऑन of one's lord om ajnana timirandasya jnanan janashalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya manobhishtam stapitam yena bhutale swayam rupa kadamayam dadati swapadantikam वंदेहम श्रीगुरो श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरुन वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सहगणा रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवदूत परीजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सहगणा ललिता श्री विशाकान्वित हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पदे गोपेशा गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तु ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नमा ओं विष्णुपाधा कृष्ण प्रेषा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशतारिणे जय श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद 
Shri Advaita Gadadhara, Shri Vas Adi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. First, I would like to seek the blessings of all the Vaishnavas present here. Without the blessings of Vaishnavas, it is very difficult to progress in the path of devotional service. Without the association, without the blessings, without the prayers of the Vaishnavas, it is very difficult. Actually, Shri Prabhupada says, to progress in the path of devotional service without the association of Vaishnavas is a big hallucination. It can't be possible. <coughs> So I sincerely seek the blessings of all the Vaishnavas present here. Hare Krishna. So today's verse is a prayer of Srimati Radharani. Srimati Radharani, her mood of devotion can't be understood so easily. Only through the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can one understand little bit what is the mood of Srimati Radharani. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahi Anya. Many instances quoted in the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood, and he personally came in this age of Kali to exhibit the mood of Srimati Radharani to make the people know who is Srimati Radharani otherwise generally highly misunderstood people don't have you know clear vision or you can say clear understanding who is Srimati Radharani I'll just take two three instances from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita very extraordinary can't be exhibited by ordinary mortals, which shows what is the love of Srimati Radharani to Krishna. First one, in the temple of Lord Jagannath. It was his daily schedule, Mahaprabhu's schedule, to go early morning to the temple of Lord Jagannath to take the darshan of Sri Jagannath. And in the evening too, in Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela, it is described one particular occasion where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went early in the morning with all his devotees and then began the Kirtan inside the temple of Lord Jagannath. It is described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita when Lord Chaitanya performed his Kirtan inside the temple. Inside the temple, the hall of Lord Jagannath is called Jag Mohan. Actually, it is a space between the altar of Lord Jagannath, uh, between the altar of Lord Jagannath and Garuda Stamba. We can say from the altar of Gopinath to Prabhupada's Vyasasan, triple it thrice. You can the triple the size of this hall, and that is the hall of Jag Mohan. Actually, those devotees have gone to Jagannath Puri; they know it. And Mahaprabhu started his Kirtan. Kirtan reached a crescendo. And uh, Mahaprabhu told Sarup Damodar, recite that verse in Odia. And Sarup Damodar Goswami recited that verse. May this head fall at the lotus feet of Lord Jagannath in this hall of Jag Mohan. And Mahaprabhu's ecstasy knew no bounds. He started shedding torrents of tears. As it is described in the Sikshashtakam, 
ಯುಗಾಯುಗಿತಂ ನಿಮಿಷೇನ ಚಕ್ಷುಷಾ ಪ್ರಾವೃಷಾ ಶೂನ್ಯಾಯಿತ ಜಗತ್ ಸರ್ವ ಗೋವಿಂದ ವಿರಹೇ ನಮೇ ಓ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಮೋ ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಐಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೇ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಶೆಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ನಾವು ಅ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೇ ವಂಡರ್ is this not exaggeration the devotee is floating in the tears of chaitanya mahaprabhu in the hall of jagmohan no it is not an exaggeration because this was the symptom of shrimati radharani when she would pray to krishna when she would pray in the mood of separation she would shed torrents of tears this is one instance where devotees are floating in the tears of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu second instance is there are many instances i am just taking few uh is uh, when after the snan purnima that was just recently held till the netrotsavam that period is called annavasara where the body of jagannath is painted that time there is no darshan for any of the pilgrims feeling separation from lord jagannath mahaprabhu kun tolerate being in jagannath puri he would go to alarnath and there in alarnath he would lie on a stone slab just remembering lord jagannath feeling the intense separation from lord jagannath and then because of this intensity his body would be it would emit emit so much of heat that that stone slab would start melting and even today for all the devotees for all time to come that stone slab is still there where mahaprabhu would just remember lord jagannath remember lord krishna and the stone would melt now someone may say is this not an exaggeration where a stone may melt no it is not an exaggeration because this is the mood of shrimati radharani when she would be there in braj bhumi feeling separation from krishna when she would sit on a stone that stone would melt because of that heat this is the love of shrimati radharani third instance is um, in the room of gambira that was mahaprabhu's residence in jagannath puri uh swarup dhamodar goswami was his personal servant he would make sure that mahaprabhu doesn't hurt himself because no one could control mahaprabhu when he would come in ecstasy so generally at night they would lock the door of his room so that he would not come out in ecstasy so one part transient particular night they started hearing some sounds inside the room they opened the room and they saw that mahaprabhu was rubbing his face against the wall of gambira it was too much then it so happened that they kept one servant inside the room to control mahaprabhu they kept one servant outside the room to hope then see that mahaprabhu doesn't come out and swarup damodar goswami would keep a vigil all night to see that mahaprabhu doesn't come out one such night they opened the door the servant was sleeping but mahaprabhu was not there they took the lantern and started searching all over jagannath puri where is mahaprabhu sometimes he would be there simhadwaram sometimes he'll be there in the ocean in one such occasion his hands limbs entered inside the body it is sent the chaitanya charitamrita it seemed like it was like a pumpkin Now someone may wonder is this not an exaggeration a body turning into a pumpkin out of love no this is not an exaggeration this is a love of shrimati radharani this is a love what shrimati radharani would feel for krishna in braj bhumi her body would transform in this state actually it is very difficult to understand this is a very high topic shila prabhupad in all his lectures especially shrimad bhagavatam or bhagavad gita he would never come about the point that you are not the body you are the spirit soul he would always this material world is dukkale masashvatam you are not the body you are the spirit soul chanting of hari krishna mantra is the only solution and this life should be the last life in this material world this was the sum and substance of all his classes 
he never came to this point of uh, or he never he never explained it openly about radha krishna's past times because he knew the audience were not that matured to assimilate those past times he said first come out of this bodily concept first come out of this bodily concept of life then try to understand what is radha krishna past times otherwise it is simply a suicide actually in one of the songs of narottam das thakur he explains very beautifully that in prarthana he says uh, especially that song gauranga bolite habe phula ka sharir hari hari bolite nayane babe neer and in the fourth line of that song it's very important considering today's verse he says rupa ragunath pade hoi be akuti kabe ha maherapo shri jugal prite he explains that when will i get an opportunity to study the books of the six goswamis of brindavan when i assimilate those books when will that day be mine when will i assimilate those books written by the six goswamis of brindavan and only then will i be able to understand what is radha krishna leela otherwise it is very difficult in the purport shila prabhupada writes very beautifully he says to understand radha krishna without the mercy of six goswamis is impossible and there he writes that is why we have presented the world the nectar of devotion the teachings of lord chaitanya as well as chaitanya charitamrita for the world to take the advantage of the books of the six goswamis so that they can understand who is chaitanya mahaprabhu and who is shrimati radharani otherwise it is very difficult actually when he says this word rupa ragunath pade hoi be akuti why rupa ragunath what is that speciality in these two great devotees rupa and ragunath rupa goswami especially who was he he was a millionaire 500 years ago sanatan goswami is elder brother he was the richest man in the planet earth he had the chintamani gem generally when shila prabhupad would speak about <clears throat> the six goswamis of brindavan he would always recite this verse of the shat goshami astakam tatva turnam ashesha mandalapatim shrenim sada tuchavat bhutva dina ganesha kau karunaya kau pina kantashrito gopi bhavara samrita dilahari kallaula magno muhur vande roop sanatano ragujugo shri jeeva gopalako when he comes to this verse tyaktva turnam ashesha mandalapati then he explains for 5 minutes what is the meaning of mandalapati and he was asking disciples this one, do you know what is the meaning of mandalapati 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 means these six goswamis in hindi they say unka utak baitak they were surrounded by aristocratic people they were surrounded by beautiful people they were surrounded by high dignitaries of the highest ranks tyaktva turnam ashesha mandalapati shrenim sada tuchavat they gave up this high aristocracy for what kaupi na kanta shrito for just one for one loin cloth for whom bhutva dina ganesha kau karunaya out of compassion for the common people to explain what is the love of shrimati radharani and krishna when you when we speak about rupa goswami rupa goswami he met shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in ramkeli then for 10 days mahaprabhu instructed him in prayag triveni sangam and there he came to puri and mahaprabhu said now onwards go to brindavan excavate all the holy places excavate the lost holy places write books because i have personally entered your heart and so that you can assimilate whatever i have spoken pen it down for the people in the future yes mahaprabhu and he went to brindavan same with sanatan goswami 
when mahaprabhu was in jagannath puri entered ragunath das goswami oh what a personality he was the only son of the majumdar family the kings of bengal 500 years ago the monthly income was not less than 15 lakh rupees per month if you estimate from today's calculation must be running into hundreds of crores only son only son ragunath das goswami when he entered puri mahaprabhu handed him to swarup damodar swarup damodar hence forward ragunath das goswami is in your custody look after him and no what was the mood of ragunath das goswami even though mahaprabhu was in close proximity it is said in the chaitanya charitamrita he never approached mahaprabhu directly that is the humility of ragunath das goswami any question to be asked not related to mahaprabhu it was through swarup damodar please ask can you please ask this to mahaprabhu huh? one such question was i have given up everything i have renounced everything what is my duty he asked swarup damodar swarup damodar went to shri chaitanya mahaprabhu mahaprabhu ragunath has a question what is his duty mahaprabhu said swarup you could have answered it but since ragunath has asked i will answer the question listen carefully ragunath gramya kathana sunebe gramya vartana kahibe balana kahibe balana paribe never hear mundane news never speak mundane news never eat luxurious food never wear luxurious clothes always keep on chanting the holy name of krishna in the mood of trinada bi sunichena that was the instruction and this instruction was taken by ragunath das goswami as his life and soul until his last breath it was like a lions on a rock for 16 years he stayed in jagannath puri he was the witness to mahaprabhu's pastimes in jagannath puri what was mahaprabhu doing how was he chanting what was his ecstasy he was seeing personally or sometimes he would hear from swarup damodar what did mahaprabhu do today in the year 1534 mahaprabhu he ended his manifest leela in this planet earth soon after swarup damodar goswami followed it was too much for ragunath das goswami he said it's enough enough of staying in this material world i'll go to brindavan get on the govardhan and i'll jump from there and commit suicide when he entered brindavan when he entered brindavan there was roop and sanatan goswami waiting for him welcome ragunath welcome to brindavan they said i had no there is no point to staying in this material world my mahaprabhu is not there they said ragunath don't think about committing suicide you are the most fortunate of all of us because you were fortunate to see mahaprabhu's past times right in front of your eyes we were not that fortunate to see mahaprabhu's past times please 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 distribute those past times to us and to the whole world in general we can see the non envious mentality of rupa goswami and sanatan goswami they never thought that vrindavan is our jurisdiction no one should enter here what if ragunath das comes here and if he becomes famous who is going to listen to our pravachan hamara dukan band ho jayega no that is the non envious mentality of rupa and sanatan goswami you should distribute the love of mahap what did mahaprabhu do please explain to all of us we were not that fortunate otherwise they would have said normally material mind i know about mahaprabhu i was there in dasashram eda ghat mahaprabhu personally entered my heart he gave me bhakti rasa amrita sindhu what does ragunath das goswami know about mahaprabhu sanatan goswami would have said oh he was the one i have so much intimate past times with mahaprabhu what does ragunath das goswami know no please we are not that fortunate you please explain to us what are those past times every day for 3 hours 3 hours non stop at the bank of radha kund ragunath das goswami would speak about 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what a gathering. It's not, Radha Kund is not like today when you go, so much of rickshaws and so much of noise and so much, so serene and calm place. And what an audience. What a speaker and what an audience. The humility of both the Goswamis, Roop and Sanatan, they just didn't instruct Raghunatha, you just speak, and they went to do their bhajan. No. They were the first one to sit in the audience, to listen. Years yearning, what did Mahaprabhu do in Jagannath Puri? What humility. As it is said in the second verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam, that... Uh, uh, Dharma Projahita Kaita Votraha Paramo Nirmat Saranam Satam. This is what we can learn from the Goswamis in Prindavan. And it is not that Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking about Mahaprabhu as if he knows so many things. He was speaking out of humility. And in that assembly of such great sages, where Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami are present, there was one such sage who would come and sit and take the dictations. And that was. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. It was only because of Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami's magnanimity, their non envious nature, no prestige, no pride, no name and fame, that today we are able to sit here and speak something about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Had this Sabha not been called for, the world would have been deprived of the knowledge of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is Rupa Goswami. When Mahaprabhu, Shaitanya Mahaprabhu, ended his manifest Leela in Jagannath Puri, Raghunath Das Goswami was, uh, he just curtailed his diet. He was only having milk and fruits. It is said, when Sanatan Goswami left, he took Samadhi, Raghunath Das Goswami gave up solid diet. He was only in liquid. Out of, you know, sheer separation. He would have buttermilk only once in three days. And when Rupa Goswami left, it was too much for Raghunath Das Goswami to bear. It is said, he gave up drinking even water. That is the love of the Goswamis. It was not a competition. Who can give a best kata and who can impress people? No. It was love among the Goswamis, which was, which is, you know, exemplary. Actually, in the same line, whatever Chaitanya Charitamrita, which Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami had written, same mood, Srila Prabhupada translated it in English for the English speaking world. It is said, uh, actually, it was a Radhashtami lecture in uh, London in 1968 and Srila Prabhupada was giving a lecture on Radhashtami on Srimati Radharani. For the first half of the lecture it was only you are not the body, you are the spirit soul you have to get out of this material world and Dukkale Masashvatam and three modes of material nature you have to just Get above these three modes of natural nature and take the shelter of Krishna. There was no mention of Srimati Radharani. At the end of the talk, <clears throat> he said, So, today is Radhashtami. And he said, We should worship Srimati Radharani in the mood of the Goswamis of Vrindavan. How Goswamis worship Srimati Radharani, that is how, being Rupanugas, we should follow in their footsteps. And then he said, the greatness of the Goswamis. He said, never in their lives the Goswamis of Brindavan ever declared openly that they have seen Krishna. Never in their lives they ever said they had seen Krishna. That was the plus point of the Goswamis. He said, they were serving Krishna in so much of intensity that Krishna was hankering to see them. Oh, where are my devotees? And then he said to the crowd, so our devotion should be in that intensity. 
people come and ask me swami ji have you seen krishna can i see krishna i say do devotional service serve the lord in such a way that krishna comes and sees you then shila propa went on further it's very important for all of us how can you serve krishna how can you serve krishna and propa said you cannot serve krishna with your eyes no not even with your ears no but there is one part in your body by which you can serve krishna can anyone tell me what is that part which shila propa mentioned by which you can serve krishna tang this he is seeing on the day of radhashtami in 1968 by this tang i request all the devotees we told to the audience by this tongue with determination if you do only these two things first with this tongue with determination let it only chant the name of krishna and with this tongue it should only describe the glories of krishna that's all make it a determination and with this tongue with determination only honor krishna prasad he repeated it twice with this tongue you only chant krishna's name discuss about krishna and with this tongue only honor krishna prasad if you do these two things only this is shila prabhupada's words very soon you will see krishna face to face you will realize krishna's presence i guarantee it and devotees went you know hari bol and even i felt you know is will there be anything simpler than this it is the essence of all the four vedas the indian puranas 109 upanishads itihasas vedanta sutras everything thus this two sentence with this tongue you just chant krishna's name and with this tongue you just honor krishna prasad you will see krishna face to face generally this is shila propa's mercy because of his encouragement this movement is still going on because of his encouragement yes you will get krishna you just keep on doing it even though the path may seem to be very you know you know it is testing your patience but still don't give up this moment you will sometimes when devotees would approach shila prabhupada and say prabhupada uh, i am not a pure devotee you know what is prabhupada's response he would not uh, sympathize with this person who comes and says i am not a pure devotee many times this happened with the disciple prabhupada i am not a pure devotee you know what is prabhupada's response why are you not a pure devotee prabhupad i don't have taste in the holy name of krishna why are you not having taste in the holy name of krishna prabhupad i cannot become like you who is stopping you from becoming like me you should be better than me because he never sympathized with this excuse of not becoming krishna conscious he would always say who is stopping you prabhupad maya is very strong why are you not stronger this is shila prabhupada encourage him encourage because if he even one word he says yes this devotional life is very tough who will take this moment are already the founder has declared it is very tough so it is tough no it is do it you will get it i guarantee it you will get it. this is called a leader he increases you can say the uh, you can say he he never make his followers lose their heart no you will get it in one of uh, in hawaii uh, you know there was one temple president and he had the habit of uh, misbehaving with the devotees and shila prabhupad came to hawaii and this temple president was a big donor also to shila prabhupad he would give a lot of donations shila prabhupad came to hawaii and 
it was midnight this temple person came to the airport he invited shri prabhupad prabhupad came and uh, in the middle of the night as usual prabhupad would keep writing the bhagavatam in the middle of the night he called his personal servant he said call the temple president it was around 1 o'clock at night because he knew this temple president is not having a proper behavior with the rest of his fellow god brothers so he wanted to straighten it middle of the night at 2 o'clock call him so the servant woke the temple president please proper this calling you he looked at the time it is 1 o'clock he went in front of proper this is rubbing his eyes what has happened what is the emergency proper was translating he looked at him he said, who are you he said who are you is this a question to be asked who are you? just few hours before i welcomed him who are you well proper i am the temple president of this temple what are you doing what are you doing at 1 o'clock what will i do proper i am sleeping you are sleeping what am i doing prabhu you are translating i am translating and you being the temple resident you are sleeping what is my age what is your age what is your age prabhu i am 25 what is my age prabhu you are 75 a 75 year old man is translating and you are sleeping he, he said he, it was out of the blue he never expected this type of firing at middle of 2 o'clock he said prabhupad you are a prabhupad you are a great devotee why are you not a great devotee prabhupad you are a paramahamsa why are you not a paramahamsa prabhupad i don't have taste why are you not having taste sit with me and translate you will get the taste and he started crying <laughs> prabhupad said go now go and take rest i just want to chastise you for this this is shila prabhupad actually he wanted his disciples to be better than him it is not oh only, it's only prabhupad who can do it is not within our capacity so there are sometimes the devotees who say hey these all these nice talks they decorate the scriptural books it is not practical for if you say if we say this in front of prabhupad we'll get a nice sauce he said what it is practical if i can do it why can't you this excuse can't be tolerated by shila prabha this is what you know is a pushing force for everyone even today after 37 years of his disappearance the everyone every devotee in iskon is just clinging to his words yes what shila prabha has said is true in one of his uh, uh, communication with the disciples a disciple wrote a letter to shila prabha prabha it was not a letter i think it was a direct conversation prabhupad you say that this philosophy is the best shila prabhupad said yes prabhupad you say that uh, our worship is the best because we worship radha krishna we worship chaitanya mahaprabhu prabhupad said yes prabhupad you say the maha mantra is the top most there is no mantra other than the maha mantra hari krishna mantra prabhupad said yes all the mantras have gone to hell except the maha mantra go ahead prabhupad association association with the devotee is the best yes it is the best and of course the prasadam is the best yes it is the best then prabhupad if everything is best then why are devotees falling from this moment if everything is best why are devotees leaving this moment and prabhupad said very beautiful point he said a devotee will never fall down a devotee will never fall down but a pretender will surely fall down so in this moment of krishna consciousness let us try to be devotees following in the footsteps of our guru parampara in following in the footsteps of shri prabhupad following in the footsteps of the six goswamis of vrindavan in the mood of gopi bhartu pada kamalayor das 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 anudas thank you very much hare krishna any questions any comments is now grantra shrimad bhagavatam ki jai shila prabhu pad ki jai 
అనంత కోటి వైష్ణవ బృందకి హరే కృష్ణ